Hi, my name is Jill Harding, and it's hard to believe 17 years ago, me and my two sons came from Dallas, Texas to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, my kids at that time were 6 and 12 years old, and now they're grown men themselves with children of their own, and they're, they're both doing well. And I tell people all the time, uh, without Sister's Place in our life, I don't think it would have been an easy journey as it was. Um, even though we still had our own hurdles to jump and stuff, uh, but Sister's Place was there for us. They gave us a new start. They gave us what we needed to um, go about our journey and not have to worry about housing or um, how the bills were gonna get paid or food in the house and stuff. And basically they gave us that push that we needed to go forward in life. And I feel having Sister's Place in our life um, has helped us out with a lot of that. Um, we, when we first moved into Sister's Place, it had everything we needed to start our new life. Um, had furniture, uh, laundry detergent, um, toothpaste in the medicine cabinet, food in the refrigerator. You would think someone lived there already, but it was just prepared for us so we can start our new life. And they were there, they gave us all therapy, um, uh, they helped me get my kids through school. Um, they helped me go to work every day to have the um, ability to go out and make my life better because they're behind me. And I, I just don't know. I, I just pray every night, and I thank God that Sisters Place is around, and I pray that they're going to be there for the next woman or man who needs help uh, with anything uh, to get back on track. And that's what Sisters Place did for me. I was there for two years. I accomplished every goal I set. And, and like I said, I just can't thank Sisters Place enough for being there for me, and I pray that they're there for the next family that needs assistance. When I came up with the idea that I was finally going to leave my abuser, because I'm up here through domestic violence, okay. um, when I got, came to that conclusion and I finally was fed up with it and I was going to leave, everyone said, go somewhere where you think you'd be safe. Well, my aunts and uncles lived up here in Pennsylvania. That's why I chose Pennsylvania. Um, when I came to Pennsylvania, on a Greyhound bus, uh, we went to my uncle's the first night when we moved here. He couldn't let us stay with him because we didn't know if my abuser knew where my family lived and he had to think of his own family. So then we were put into Women's Center and Shelter. And that's when we were there. You're only supposed to be there for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, I'm sorry, 30 days. And they considered us as a hardship case because we knew nothing about Pittsburgh. Even though we visited once a year, we knew nothing. We didn't know how to catch a bus. We didn't know where the store was, nothing. So they considered us as a hardship case. Thank God they kept us 30 more days because Sister's Place had just opened up in 1997. They just opened up. Somebody from Sister's Place called my caseworker and said, hey, we have, we're up and running. We have an apartment ready. Do you have a candidate? She says, I have the perfect candidate for you. She took, my case manager took me out to see my place in Clareton. I fell in love with it as soon as I walked in. And the first night we were there, I was just happy to know that me and my boys had a bed of our own to sleep in and a place to call our own. It was just so nice to have that.